The family of Kun Vichai flew to the UK at the weekend after the horrendous helicopter crash that saw the King Power owner killed on Saturday along with four others. Amongst those paying respects in the UK were His Royal Highness Prince William, who had met the Thai businessman several times. His message of condolence was revealed yesterday amongst others. The family was spotted alongside footballers who joined with fans at the football stadium crash scene as they laid a wreath in his memory. It's expected that Kun Vichai will be returned to Thailand for Buddhist ceremonies here. Overstayers here in Thailand are making the headlines today with a British man arrested on Koh Phangan after a year of forgetting to get a visa. And a Cameroonian caught in the South too, he was a mere 1,000 days here illegally. As it's obvious that Thailand is toughening up on illegal immigrants here, so anyone on an overstay is best to leave quietly. The fine after being caught is 20,000 baht. However, before being released from an immigration detention center, violators need to show that they have a ticket out of Thailand to their home country, which might see their stay elongated somewhat. You may remember the tale of a Swedish man who, a while back, reported that someone had accessed his bank account and fleeced him in Thailand while he was out of the country with his wife. Well, all claims have been withdrawn this week, when it was revealed that indeed he was rinsed, but by his own family. It seems that more than 400,000 baht was stolen by his wife's eldest daughter. No word on how she came to have his password, and online bank users are reminded to keep their passwords close to their chests, as it seems even the offspring can't be trusted. Meanwhile, at home and in Patia, 13 Chinese remained in immigration police custody yesterday after being caught running a loan sharking operation from a rented Bang Lamung house. It seems that their arrest in Long Pru led to police checking some two dozen computers that were seized, most revealing that they'd been putting pressure on fellow countrymen back in their own country to repay high interest rate loans. They'll no doubt face charges of extortion once they're deported. Hopefully you'll notice that the Fab Radio system is back to normal as of last night. We've been running on steam since a lightning strike hit us here a couple of weeks ago. Last night, the final pieces of the burnt jigsaw puzzle were replaced and, well, we sound a whole lot better. Big thanks to Watana Computers on Patia Klang who came to our aid in many cases and to one man who prefers to remain anonymous but spent a whole day with us helping to solder and repair. Got popped yet? Well, no, we don't want you shot, but we do hope that you've bought a poppy already from the Royal British Legion Poppy Appeal. With boxes set out around the city, you can't fail to see them in supportive pubs, businesses and other venues. It's the annual fundraiser for those in need and a worthwhile cause regardless of your nationality. Wear your poppy with pride. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 32, but the real feel of 36, dropping down to around 28. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.